From the Otten Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, a floater quartz formation. Now, this guy is mainly clear quartz crystals with uh, epidote and piemontite, so going from the green to the red running through it. First of all, let's have a look at the form. So, let's go around the outside edges. Crystallization happening right across here, right across there, going across like that. Crystallization running right across there. Then we go onto the back uh, view where there's a healthy, healthy deposit of ferruginous or hematite, hematite included quartzes. Of course, what we're always looking for on the Messina quartzes is the elusive adjuite and the papagoite, the turquoise and the blue. I don't think there's any here, but uh, well, depending on how far you magnify, you may very well find some. If I see some visible, I'll mention it in my description. Uh, my wife is the, the, the color eyes. I, I get confused with the gray hematite inclusions uh, and the, the turquoise. Um, you'll actually find that many people get confused with the same thing. So I only say adjuite included if I really see it. And how I'd see it is under magnification. I'd look for the color and then I'd look for little sprays of needles. There you can see little twigs of the Piemontite and Epida trapped inside this magnificent formation of quartz. Edge to edge we're looking at maybe going on three inches, so pretty good size there. There we have the little epidote as well in the cross section. You'll find the dark green epidote blades run into a, a reddishness and that would be the Piemontite. Yeah, maybe. Let's have a look at that. I want to see if I can get that, that top crystal there, maybe a little bit of color there.